split the Kansas game to start the winning streak with Gerard Johnson. It's been the starter going the distance in the last two. This one at secondary. Tannehill, third and long, and he delivers. It is complete to Gray. Gray dodges one tackler, but is stopped at the 26-yard line. Of Especially the tackles, both true freshmen, Jokel and Matthews. Here's the run from the get-go. Gray, 50, turning it on across the 40, and is brought down at the 37-yard line. Chris McAllister makes the tackle a 29-yard pickup. This is what is so tough about defending Texas A&M. You got to keep two people back for Jeff Fuller, but when you have two safeties, they've got run ratios, and Cyrus Gray knocks off a big run. Maggie's trying to take it to the short side with responsibility. Just throw it under him. A short game, easy third down situation. Nothing doing for Gray on that one. A success that they haven't seen since uh, the days of Grant Taft, at least on a consistent basis. And how do you handle that? As Gray gets... Gray, 35. Knocked out of play, clocks go. Leading to the two bookends, Jokel and Matthews, true freshman tackles. On a first and 15, great play for AM. 36 yard pickup, first to 10 from the 11. Tannehill to throw it again. Just a dinker across the line. And third down and three. Right up the gut. That is Gray. Touchdown, Aggies. On this last series, the good return from Molina, and then marching downfield, overcoming. Attempt. Now AM gets the football. Let's see what they come back with to start the second half offensively. Gray, young, inexperienced quarterback. Third and one. On his feet, Gray. Joel, we'll take a look again at the run here. That Texas a and going to have to keep their defense off the field yes. a little bit. Finding his number two guys in the progression. Good lead blocking to continue to hold the football keep that defense bill like you mentioned off the field and they're doing a great job on your feet again they come right back with that just amazing what a play Atchison the penalty now gray cuts through to the five gray touchdown Texas. There's not one. Watch Cyrus Gray wait for his hole to open up. Choppy steps and once he sees it, then he accelerates up the field and gets the ball. Hunt. So from the 8 to the 23, it ends up being a difference of 15 yards. And here come the Aggies on the ground. Cyrus Gray rolls inside the 10-yard line. Atchison makes the tackle for Baylor. Big offensive line finding their rhythm. Just an easy zone play. Gray with great patience, finds his hole, and then gets physical at the end of the run. I love what AM is doing offensively here in the second half. Aggies trying to get the lead for the first time tonight. Gray shedding tacklers into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! Sidesteps Phil Taylor in the backfield. Big Phil Taylor has his opportunity, but Gray makes him miss and gets all the way on the road as a different animal. Heads up play by Tannehill to knock down that deflected pass just a moment ago. But now Baylor's answering defense. Kick. Where does Baylor go? Because Aaron Jones right now struggling. Cyrus Gray rambles for field and let those guys get a rest. Gray again. Rolls across down and then up season for the Aggies. Second and two. And Gray drags one with him for the first. Day. They're going to win. First and ten it is, and Gray feeling it. It's tripped up, Clive. Cyrus Gray. And remember, Gray has eighth reception for 73 yards. On first down, it's Gray, and he is met up front and pushed back. That goes back to 35-30. Gray, that one will count. Playing behind the big uglies, winning the line of scrimmage. There's usually one defender that's not going to be blocked in a goal line situation. 0-3 stretch. They lost that tough one to Oklahoma State as Gray runs it here. And then they've game, especially schematically. Second down and eight, and Gray. Good strong run. Almost every single game. They got more balanced. Third and five, and Gray. It's like he's Missouri and Iowa State. Got Oliver Luck out there in the 
Pac-10, all on Big 12 and college football Saturday in general as flying kind of dictating that tempo and getting it done. And you know, Tannehill keep this team on a roll, getting its fourth consecutive victory. Cyrus Gray will stretch it out a little bit. Getting the key stops that they need to. That, that game's at Kyle Field. Here's Gray. He may want more. Gray inside the 10. Smart run. Cyrus Gray, who's already got four touchdowns tonight with 123 remaining. Cyrus Gray stopping before. 37th. First down and 10 now for Ryan Tannehill. And he hands it off to Cyrus Gray. He may have to make a few plays tonight with his legs. Here comes Gray trying to swing wide, and immediately they put him in third. Tannehill's been throwing against a lot of zone. Here comes the pressure. Here comes the blitz. Tannehill stands middle. Incomplete. They quickly get the snap off. The next play, and here is Gray going. Second down and seven. Tannehill has time, going to swing it to the outside, and Gray is, <clears throat> excuse me, Brent, a nice mix up there. And he comes back and hands it off to Gray on a cutback, and he picks up. He can try to slow down the passing game. Well, here they come again, Gray. He's got the first down, and they're starting to pound away. It opens up other aspects of the Aggies' offense, and this is a good look at the pit, and hey, they're, they're moving people around. you got two true freshman offensive tackles, a good veteran group on the inside of both guards and center, but this opens up the passing game and other aspects of the offense. First and ten, and now they're going to run the toss play with Gray. Gets outside, and that's a fine nine. A bit more room to the outside. By far their most impressive drive. Now play action, and he had a wide open Gray for the first down. And he's out of bounds near the 20-yard line. Great read by Tannehill as he rolled to the right. The back, Herbie, was wide open. When you run the football against this defense, look how things open up. This is the same offense that couldn't complete a, a pass. They start to run the football. For the Cornhuskers, great striking position, and Gray can't get it. Breaks away. Yes, they are. Still got a shot to win that division. Now they come back with their Gray on a first down. Third down and 15. Coming out from his own end zone now. Gets it away and tripped up his Gray beautifully that time. Or he might have had a shot. David able to save, I think, a first down on this play. And cricket to the look at the crick at the top. Kind of locks on Gray. He knows what's coming. He just can't stay with him long enough. Jared Crick, some good instincts there. But Nebraska fortunate to have the speed of Levante David, who's able to come off and be able to make this play. And if he doesn't make off to the top of your screen. Tannehill drops it off in below to Gray, and Gray gets Gray for the first down. Nebraska to just 53 yards rushing. Now, guys, Ryan Tannehill will continue to punt for this team. Second half. Yeah, he's the third punter right now, Heather. They get a little offense going as Gray is the running back. And Patrick Lewis, the right guard. Good job of coming around, picking up the uh, safety, Austin Cassidy. And first play, pull the quarterback Tannehill away, and then they run the football. There's a fake, and again dumps it underneath to the running back, Gray. And there's a loss. Bringing up a third and 17 for Tannehill. Tannehill with that inside shuttle pass. So the end came up field and very close to the first down. Mama Kamara, one of the outstanding defensive backs, and comes this, up. And this time David almost comes up with it, but got actually held there a little bit by Jake Matthews, who got away with one and gave Gray just a little bit more room. Watch Matthews right there, just got a hold of David's shoulder pad. That's his fourth down, remember, because that can get you knocked off. Okay. You know, you need some cleaner air. And Johnson to drive for five and got it. And Husker sideline. Lamoth is in front on the toss play to Gray. Let's see if Lamoth's got the man. And the Black Wars with the Green Bay Packers. Here comes pressure now. And Tannehill's in trouble. Drops it off. And barely got back to the this Nebraska D. Hand off to Gray, picks up a couple of yards on not get in quickly. You see Tannehill searching on the sideline. Now he's got it back in the end zone. Got to hurry here. 
Throws it off, deflected, incomplete, and oh, it's the worst swap can make the play. First down and ten. Here's the handoff. He's got a crease. Nine-yard gain. Good job here with the vision by Cyrus Gray. Play designed off to the left, finds the crease back to the right. Hill outside. He's rushed for 65 yards here tonight, coming back with more. He got another. Physical they're going to be with you. It gave them all week to think about. It's man-to-man -man when they play it like that. Inside to Gray. Gray caught it. Great hands and a first down. To roll a little bit, 15 more yards. And that, a, a big part of this play is drawing the outside linebacker, the defensive end, towards you as a quarterback, and then you get it underneath. Gray that time, able to catch that football and pick up big yards. Now they come back with the toss play, and Gray down the sideline. See that, I think, now. Here's the handoff and another first down. Uh -huh. And I must tell you, they're doing some business over here now. And yeah, they sure are, Brandon. And also, look how elusive Gray is. I mean, he, when you give him some room to work into the linebackers, he's making people miss and getting upfield in the process. So the young tackle gets down. The son of Hall of Famer Bruce Matthews. Now Gray came back. Marching band. And here we go now. Third down and five as we start the fourth quarter. Aggies threatening. Going to try the toss play out of bounds, and it'll be very impressive. So we'll find out tomorrow at 6 Eastern on ESPN. Here is the handoff, and Gray, Coach Sherman, telling us that he's back. That gets into a rhythm and really gets it going in the second half. Looking for 100 here, Herbie. He's got it. And a first down. And he said to the reporters, I'm an Aggie through and through. I back whatever's going on. Play fake by Tannehill. Fire in underneath, back to the, the Cornhuskers, 35-yard line. And on a cutback, Gray gets it a little bit more in sync with him in the second half. He's getting a full load here tonight. He's got a first down, 15, cuts back inside the 10-yard line. 18 more yards for Gray. Lamont back there, tight end, who's helping out, trying to pick up a block. He seals the edge and actually gets a shoulder on Jared Frick. But let's give Simon's... Knows how strong he gets as the game rolls on. Here he comes again. They switch the strength of the formation. Run the toss in that direction. Gray picks his way. Five. Up here. He's got a tired running back. He's got a third and goal. Going to come right back with him. But he's not going to make it.